So he sent back something that I didn't answer, and then he called out, and I really wasn't there. It wasn't like I knew who's the cover for. Okay, folks, really it's 5.30. There. Is John off celebrating still? Or sleeping. He was pretty tired after my day with him yesterday. yesterday. Okay, so I call to order the uh, Bella Vista City Council special budget work session. Um, my thanks to Wanda for sitting in for Wayne. He was unable to attend. Thank you. And um, we have one item, which is the 2023 budget. Kim's going to lead the discussion in a minute. Um, Council Member Burke wants to just quickly go over his handout. His floor is yours. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everybody. So I, I've shared this before. I thought I'd share it one more time as I uh, get ready to ride off into the sunset here. Uh, this, I think, is good news, and I, I think it's constructive to look at kind of uh, the broader multi-year uh, trend in revenue with our three, with just three of our key sources of revenue. You can see how they've grown, each one of them. It's county sales tax, city sales tax, property tax. You can see how they've grown, and the number that's in green there is the aggregate of all three of them. And so you can see we've gone from uh, $10 million in, in these revenues in 2017 to uh, 2021 is our last full year. We're up to $14.4 million. Uh, it looks like, I, I wrote in there 2022, it looks like if I extrapolate out what the last few months might look like, we'll add another million dollars to this revenue in the current year, which we all know is, is kind of a, a year of concern from, uh, from the standpoint of inflation and p potentially entering into a recession. So I, th I think this is good news for the city of Bella Vista. It shows a strong trend in revenues, including city sales tax. That's the orange one. If you see it starting out in 2017 at $1.91 million, here we are, uh, just uh, four years later, we're at $3.3 million. So you, you see the growth in our, in our city sales tax. I think that's strong. I think it's healthy. It can always be better. We're never going to have more money than we know what to do with. We're, never gonna, we're always going to be in, uh, in uh, uh, evaluation of what can we afford to do this year. And... Uh, I just wanted to share this one last time because I think it's good news for the city of Bella Vista and it shows that we're, we're in a pretty strong position uh, just from the standpoint of trending. Living in Benton County is, is a blessing to us. Benton County is going to continue to grow even if we do enter a recession. Uh, so I, I think the future bodes well. I think this, this is a kind of trend analysis that uh, might be useful as we enter into uh, the budgeting budget planning process for next year. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, relative to the Benton County portion, which I think is the, what, the blue line? Yes. Um, our share that we are getting now under the new census data has gone down. Has gone down by very much. From 11.98 to 10.59. It's about a 12% drop, I think, in what we were getting. And I, I've watched those month by month, if you look at them. Uh, we, we've seen, uh, that, that started when? When did we get our uh, new? It went into effect September 30th of last year, so uh, basically December was our first year of the lesser amount. Right, so we've seen the full year now. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, oh, okay. we're, we're about to be the full year. We've, we've seen 10 months of it, yes. and, and I think it bodes well. I, I was concerned, too, that we might see a flattening of that, but I think we continue to see the county sales tax number uh, performing very well. And um, I expect it to continue to do so. It is, Mr. Snow. Um, we've we've averaged 500 homes a year for how many years now? Oh, maybe two for yeah, 500. Just, just the last couple, I think. Yeah, just the last couple. Yeah. It started in 2013 at 35, and I think it peaked at 600 and something last year. So and it's a little bit behind now this year. So we're always we're always a year behind on the uh, 
property tax. Yes, that's right. Well, but, property tax are a year behind, but it takes two years from permit that's right. to revenue. Yeah. So would that be the explanation then for the, for the um, lack of increase in the property tax? Well, the property tax, the way it's calculated, yes, in part, but the way it's calculated, it's it's not as big it's not a big number as you can see. Um, Component for our overall income correct. is a small portion, right? That's relatively. Right. Jerry, I, I was concerned about that. Also, I would have expected greater growth in our property tax just for the fact that we're building all these homes. And I did look into that some, spoke to the people down at the property tax office. Man, you talk about seeing sausage being made it is not pretty and uh, it's not pretty one not of the pretty ways they keep track of knowing when a construction is completed there's no there's no uh, connection i think into like occupancy permit or anything Correct. like that they figure it out by driving around <laughs> and i was blown away by that i thought how many people do you have to have driving around to figure out when is this house complete yeah and there's been so much not only here but elsewhere yes Yes. Well, you did a study one time, or the, uh, the numbers that what property tax would actually increase, and it's not that great. No. No, no it's, it's, it's not that, that great per home. It's not. But also keep in mind that um, although the property tax uh, revaluations were done in 21, they were not effective, and the new rates were not effective until 22. So this number here, when you look at our budget, you'll notice that the 22 budget was higher than this and showed showed a pretty significant increase. Well, you know, property taxes, I, you know what, I hate to quote a number, but on my house, for the property taxes I pay, it sounds ridiculous. It's like, I'm gonna, this is, I think, high, like 200 of it goes to the city, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's that's it's, bill. it's really it's small. 4.5 mil. So, 80%. District collects probably 10%, oh, excuse me, 10 times as much. City does. Right, 50 right. Something it's, it's, does people be shocked to know just how small a percentage of that goes to, and then only a small personal portion of that goes to the general fund. We get point zero zero five yeah. five. That's so ours. Of, of total. Of total so property tax. <clears throat> uh, the rule of thumb is, if it's a if it's a brand new home, take twenty percent of the purchase price. The assessor tells me that's mm -hmm. roughly what the, you know, the assessment will end up right. being. Um, and then you multiply it by the 0 0.06, whatever it is, which includes the school tax. And buried in that is our 5.5, five, which is four for operations and maintenance and one and a half for lobby. And it doesn't amount to no, very no, much. How many dollars coming in on that program? And, you know, uh, there is some concern that that, uh, as a state, um, you know, Arkansas's property tax structure is not conducive to supporting cities. So uh, it's, it, you know, it, it's so heavy <coughs> on depending on sales tax in order to support cities, and our property tax is so, is so low as a percentage. It's a, it's a, statewide, a statewide issue. Um, I was at a conference, Doug and I were at a conference, and they were talking about that Arkansas's structure uh, makes it difficult to support your operations on property tax. Yeah, you just couldn't do it. Okay, are there any other uh, questions? For well, having said all that, the property tax and the city sales tax are both 3.4 million. Yep. So, except for except for the county sales tax, it's as much money as we get from anything. Yeah, the county's the biggest contributor. Okay, can I ask you, and this is a curious question more than anything, and I'll let it go. The new Walmart home office there that's being built, right? Yes. So all the materials that go into that yes. are, are taxed, right? Yes. So there's, there's, I guess the city gets a portion, but then the county does as well, right? The county would also get Which some of that comes to us. As long yes. as they're building there, that thing. There are sales tax, I don't know if Walmart saw it or not, but there are sales tax breaks you can get for Okay, developing. that's true. Maybe there's not that much associated with that's it. True. But I'm just saying, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. as long as that thing's being built and the revenue's coming in. I don't know if they got tax breaks. I don't know how it works, but. Yeah, they probably did. Mm -hmm. But the city and the county both would have had Yeah. So I wouldn't be Tucked onto the back end of some bill or another. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Jim? this is a really good segue into. <laughs> 
thank you. That's a really good segue into what we're talking about. So um, if you want to open your packages and look at page two, uh, let's just, uh, you know, quickly look at the revenues because that's what we're talking about here, right? And, uh, you know, this is, this is a, a high level, of course, but you're going to see budget to budget, you're going to see a 16% increase on revenues, okay? And that's budget to budget. That's the key thing here. This is not looking at actuals. This is looking at budget to budget. And what I've done, you're going to see in a, in a second, what I've done is, um, the next page we'll talk about this, but what I've done is raise the sales tax estimate. All right? Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. You can also see that the uh, total operating expenditures, we're requesting a 10% increase. I'm not sure which version we're walking off. Yeah, I know you sent one just. Oh, no, that was it. just the, the one I sent you was just the fund balance and capital expenditures. Okay. This well, is still the same the same budget no, very good. that I had previously okay, sent. Okay, thank you. Are there any questions about that? To the yeah. city website and pick up the meeting. Well, I, okay. I didn't bring that one because you said it's going to change. No, not, the, not from the one I, I sent last time. Um, hey, do you want mine? No. No, no, no. Do you, no, I know this backwards. Well, okay. well, as I said, the, the one that you handed out to you at the last. Right. The one that got came from Wayne is new from the one that I handed out last time. Which is the one that's in his package. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the one in the package that Wayne sent. Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. All right. That one I can't get access to. So. Yeah, but we can share this. Okay. That should be the one that um, he just gave you. My computer's malfunctioning. I can't, can't get it. I hate when that happens. I do too. <laughs> Technology's a beautiful thing when it works. See this I, I right here. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, all right. So we'll get back to the revenues here in a second. But I wanted to show you that our expense increase is only uh, ten percent, which you know is a standard number that's running around right now that we hear a lot about. It's you know, so um, that includes um, raises and the um, health care benefits that you guys previously approved. All right. Um, street revenues are going to remain flat, uh, according to um, AML. There's no increase in the turn back. Yes, right. And then... Um, Street expenditures are going to decrease because you, uh, Mike had a big a big hit last year that we're not expecting this year. So, um, all right. So, if you want to turn to page uh, the next page, page what is that? Page three. three. Okay. So let's uh, just quickly go over. If you want to take your page, uh, let's see. This is page five. We're going to talk about page five. But I'm, I'm going over the notes on page three and four. Okay? So this is to Steve's, um, Steve's point, to go back to that, is that um, you're going to see in this that I raised the estimate for the budget very significantly this year because we were concerned last year that we were going to have a pretty dramatic hit from that um, decrease in the percentage. And there was a lot of grumblings about um, a possible uh, decrease in sales last year, especially uh, this in tw for 22. Let me just say for 22. <laughs> uh, what I've done here is I've kept the uh, revenue approximately what we are expecting through the end of this year. As an okay? actual. That's, that's my, going to be my base for next year. And um, I believe that estimate is pretty conservative. And um, it does not include the 7.5% that Benton County is using to increase their revenue. Okay? When I was talking to them, you know, um, we have over a 15.5% increase year over year. You know, as Steve mentioned. Uh, so, uh, they're predicting a 7.5% increase in their revenue, but I, I wanted to uh, keep it, uh, I wanted a conservative revenue number here. Yeah, it is, because, and I know we don't have 20, uh, total 2022 yet, 
So I just look at it, 2021, it was 8.13 for the county, and you have 8 million for 2023 revenue um, for county sales tax? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the city sales tax in 2021 was 3.31, you've got 3.4. So that's the two years advance, right, in 2023, but your estimate for 2023 is equal to, basically equal to 2021? No. Well, don't forget the county had that percent change, though. So. so what what my estimate is, we is it about. is almost exactly equal, it's rounded, but it's almost equal to what we will get in 2022. Okay. Does that? Yeah, I hear you. I, I okay. just, yeah, I just thought it would have been higher. Than so that. it sounds like the county's pretty bullish then, aren't they? Well, they are. her point is, her point yeah. is that we, and, and, we live in a very charmed area of the country and that they expect, you know, she said 7.5% and she ex they expect to see more than that uh, because of all the uh, people moving to Northwest Arkansas. And I don't, I don't disagree with that, but, you know, let's be clear, there are a number of people out there saying that we're going to take a pretty big recession in 23, right? And I didn't want to set up false expectations. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know where that's going to go, the uh, inflation factor and how it will affect us in the downtime. Exactly. Exactly. And I think that's an unknown. Mm -hmm. So we're just being very conservative. Yeah. Yeah. And, and to further that, in, in the event that we were uh, you know, hit with a recession and this number becomes unattainable, then, then we, we have our reserves that we've discussed repeatedly. And when we get to the fund balance and capital request, you're going to see that we also have the ability to delay some projects. We can finance projects. We, we, have, we, we can uh, have opportunities to save cash in the future. You know, uh, because uh, one of our, our goals as a city has to be to maintain the level of service that we currently provide our, our citizens. And no that, layoffs, that's no furloughs. Right. I'm sorry. No layoffs, no, no furloughs. furloughs. Right. Same level of service to our constituents. Yeah. Yes. All right. So um, I think I think the next page uh, is pretty straightforward. You know, this is just um, I I increase the only thing that's really um, kind of um, uh, a pretty big number here. Um, is the franchise fees I increased by three hundred and sixty thousand uh, dollars for Carroll Electric because we're expecting a six percent increase in rates. Mm -hmm. In twenty three. Yes, in twenty three. We got that number from Carroll. And does that equate to a six percent increase in our? It should. Mm -hmm. Any questions about any of that? All right. So that. Uh, any questions about anything else on, on page five? Okay, then uh, page six is just showing you that street turn back fees are, are flat. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about... Kim, one more thing on resume sure, before sure. we move on off that. I'm trying to remember how we account for impact fees. Not we revenue. It's not revenue. revenue. No. No. What? No. Because it's a liability. It's a liability yeah. on your balance. So we track it every month, mm -hmm. but we don't run it through. Um, at, so it thank is. you for that question, mm -hmm. because um, what what we decided to do is we record it as a liability every month, and it's building as a liability. At year end, it'll go it'll go through my our income, but it'll go straight to restricted. It's right. A, it's so a restricted I did, fund anyway as it comes in. Right. Yeah. And so what I didn't want you, I, what I didn't want to do was muck up operations. Right. Okay. No. So you I could was thinking see, of the more in capital when we get into capital projects. Absolutely. Right, that's a source of funding for capital projects. You're absolutely right. For so, new stuff. Yes. And that's what we say. We, we have, this allows us to be very flexible, mm -hmm. right? Lots of options. Yes, we have options. Question? Yes, sir. 
How, one of the decrease um, in uh, 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 um, planning permit fees, that's a you know, pretty significant decrease in planning permit fees. Um, because we are probably not going to make budget in the current year for planning and permit fees. So I went ahead and decreased those. Uh, as a matter of fact, I didn't even print that, that support page off because it's only a $7,000 decrease. Uh, but it doesn't look like we're going to make the number uh, for... Now, keep in mind, that's not, um, that's not his, uh, CDS's new house permits and all of that. This is uh, related to the... Um, These are planning... Planning, planning not fees. yes. It's planning, not building inspection fees. It's not And if you remember, we had the discussion. Planning permit. Chime in any time you feel free. We we uh, had the discussion that. I'm sorry. Variance fee. We got a planning commission processing fee. All that kind of stuff. So those are pretty nominal numbers. And just why are they? Why are they decreasing? Why are you not planning on? Well, for one, uh, when we when we were here a couple of months ago, I remember that we made some changes uh, so that we won't have as many exceptions and we won't have as many fees. Uh, You're talking about the variances. Yes. So, and that's a special fee. I'm assuming is that not correct? Yes. Filing for a variance. Two hundred dollars. Is a separate fee. Yeah. Yeah. And solid waste pickup fees also. But that's not that number, though. That's not a part of those two. No, I'm just asking about the. Right. So um, let me just close the loop on the permit fees. Okay. That's seven thousand dollars. We're not going to make. I I don't think we're going to make our budget from last year on that. And then based on the fact that I thought we had agreed that we were going to have decreases in the amount of fees. I went ahead and, and decreased that a little bit, and now, and uh, so now your question was on um, solid waste. So yes, there is a decrease in the solid waste. Uh, if uh, Peter, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to you, but uh, didn't we talk about that in a council meeting where we talked about what the the new solid waste cost was going to be? Yeah, so let me just refresh your memory. The amount that Republic was looking for was a 16% increase. Right. And I did not want to do that. We got it down to nine, I believe, and that was still too high. And so built into the solid waste or the trash fees is an amount of money that they pay back to us, which goes to streets. Right. And so what we did was we lowered that amount of money that's going to come back to us so that we could keep the increase to the residents at a more reasonable level. And I think it went up 90 cents a month or something. And that was done on purpose because I, I just didn't feel that we should be charging that kind of money when we have this extra money available and our taxes are doing so well. So. So, in essence, what you're saying, uh, Mayor Christie, is that the city absorbs some of that increase right. in the exactly. solid waste part of our operation. That's correct. Rather than passing it on to our customers. Right. I just say, I think on the revenue, and, and, and I, I do not have an issue. I'm not debating it. I'm really not. I think we're paying it really conservative, and I'm fine with that. I mean, we, even just a year to date this year, and I know this recession conversation is going on. I, you know, I don't know where I am on that. Who knows, right? I it could, could not happen. <laughs> But the numbers that were projected last year, uh, city sales tax was 2.975. We're at 3.082 right now. And the county was projected at 63.82, and we're at 7 right now. And we still have three months to go. So we're blowing those numbers away. Yeah. So I'm just saying. We, That's why I increased it by 16%. I, yeah, so I'm comfortable yeah. with it being flat. Okay. I'm just saying. You no, know, no, let's be clear. Okay. What I did. What, what I did is I increased it the budget year over year, but I kept it approximately flat. It, it's going to be within uh, my estimate, I believe, you know, and I, I can, I, you know, I'm pretty confident that I could raise it another 
$10,000 or $20,000, but you know, above that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get nervous. No, right? I'm not, I'm not but, debating it, that's fine. I'm just saying, I I'm just saying, I'm just saying that I, I did an analysis. Um, I did an analysis, hold on, I've got it right here. I brought it with me. So I did a, um, I went backwards and said, okay, so based on everything, you know, where are we uh, year over year between the two, we're going to, uh, our percent change was 15% between 21 and 22, okay? So uh, what I did was I said, all right, I took all the numbers that we have year to date actuals and I, I added our budget to that. Our, and I said, okay, that's my new number. So it'll be, it, it'll be slightly less than what we actually received this year. Current year actuals. Yes, Correct. slightly less. That's fine. But I think that I think we're in a good place, and I think we can we can make that number. And I don't I don't think that we I don't think a recession would keep us below that number, right? That's really what you're trying to do. Yeah, I, I really want to avoid us seeing a big deficit in what your projections are. Or a big reduction in revenue I would rather I would rather us be over budget now I don't like being over budget as much as we've been which is why I I went through to you know you made a good point and I went through and I raised it this year I I, I went for the I went for the gold but uh, what I don't want to do is set false expectations so, that, for the we're good yeah. we're good like okay. we're good okay um all right, so now we're talking about, uh, we're talking about uh, expenditures on page eight. So the notes are on page seven and the expenditures are on page eight. This is really uh, straightforward. Um, a significant portion of our increases were because we have the new public safety complex coming on board uh, next year and we, we had to raise some of the budget because we don't know exactly what our costs are gonna be there. So we had to make some, um, so thank you exactly um, and we also had you know some increases in staffing and equipment related to those increases in staffing um, again I mentioned this earlier but the budget includes the uh, benefits that you guys reviewed okay anything about that on page 8 no page 8.1 <laughs> was uh, a request, I think it might have been Larry who asked for this, but I can't swear to it, but I thought it was an excellent idea because I think of it this way, and that is excluding salaries and benefits, what were my operating increases? So this kind of gives you an idea if I exclude benefits, where, where did I see my increases? Or decreases. Or decreases, yes. So are there any any questions about that? I assume some of those came from the department heads as well, in terms of where those numbers. Yes, so um, from nine to the end of your presentation, those are the independent department, in the individual uh, department budgets, and um, they're there for your review. If you want to ask questions now, you can, or you can email me a question if, if you want to dive into that later. But does anybody have any questions about the individual department budgets at this point? A uh, question on process, really, more so. So each department has a department head. And Correct. They probably do some coordination with their team, and they turn in, here's, our, here's what we'd like to see for, for next year. Yes. What's the scrubbing process, if any, that, that you entertain, Mayor Christie? Yeah, in August of every year, what we do, Kim, myself, and the same thing with Carrie, is we sit down and we draw up a, a complete budget calendar, which includes this meeting as well. And we have milestones, and we have a milestone that says, okay, department heads, you have to have your first blush into Kim on such and such a day. Once that comes in, then she and I sit down and we do a scrub. And then we go back to the individual department heads and we say, 
either you're fine or you've got to sharpen your pencil. That goes through another cycle. It comes back again to Kim and myself. <coughs> and we look at it. Usually don't have to do too much of a scrub after that. The department heads have been very, very good in keeping their budgets in check. And um, then we do one more circle just to make sure everybody's comfortable. And then we put the budget together. And that includes both the capital as well as the operating and maintenance. Do you start off and kind of try to give your sense to the department heads of what you think in terms of payroll, which is a big part of the yes. largest part of the expense, to say, hey, next year I think you want to plan for on average X percentage, 7%, 8%. I see a lot of variability in the payroll expense increases. Right. Some of it is rationalized by adding headcount, but not all of it is. There is some variability there. Does that account for promotions and things like that? So in past years, what we've done is always had a set increase. Mm -hmm. This year, however, all cities, including ourselves, went out and had uh, the Johansson Group do a very, very deep dive on the salaries for every single position. Then the department heads were asked to go and look at every single employee and to ensure that their compensation is correct to their level of experience and time on job. And that's what you're seeing is that correction. We've been doing a little bit each year and trying to zero in, say, on, on dispatch. That was one of the first ones that we hit a few years ago. We kept improving that. Now this time, we have taken the Johansson study and we've said, okay, it's time to move. Let's get it all laid out. And that means that you'll see a difference in the percentages between the departments because some are already there. Fire has been there for years. Mm -hmm. They are probably the best. Okay. And then we had to get, especially Mike's crew, up mm -hmm. to snuff. Mm -hmm. And so you'll see that variability, and that's what it's from. Okay. So, so, so fire is more comparable to sister cities in Northwest Arkansas in pay? They were more comparable to the Johansson study. The Johansson study. Um, it's difficult to say all the sister cities because one of our sister cities decided that they were going to start an ambulance service and they basically went on a poaching trip and they were hiring anybody at midpoint even if he only had two weeks experience hmm. and uh, so they took about 10 of ours chief yes yeah Damn. yeah and they took some, uh, some from other cities as well and that's I think rather rash to start people off at a midpoint because within a few years, say five years, they'll be maxed out. Then what do you do? And ultimately they could leave because there are other cities that actually have a broader range and a step program. So unfortunately that's, that, uh, that's that has happened. That situation though was failed on them though, didn't it? No, I think I think they have it in place now, don't they? Well, one of one of the ones that Jerry's talking about did fail. Yes, they did. Yes. Yeah. And the other one is kind of rocky. Okay. All well, those people they hired, they had to let them go. And when the you're describing the budget process by department, and it's very usual what you said about hey, you gotta sharpen your pencil. Do you ever have a situation where you say hey, you actually maybe ought to be spending more than you are? Yes. Not this year, but in some past years, yes. Um, particularly on the police side before Chief Graves came on board, I can remember with Chief Farmer having a discussion, he had lowballed some of his training, and I felt that we needed more training, um, and so we had to up it. Yes, it's happened, but not very often. So, page eight is the, that's the original the original budget request, right? Yeah. Well, page well, no, eight no, includes no. salary and benefits. Just so it, it, page 8.1 does not include salary no and benefits. No, no wages and benefits. It's just operational expenses. Just operational. Yeah. So, Kim, the total expenditures in 19.6, how is that, and that's total expenditures, how is that compared to uh, 2022 actual? I know. I'm sorry. Are you are you talking about expenditures? Because it's 18.6. Do I have a typo? Yeah. It's 18. Oh, I see. well. Are you looking at revenue? Yeah, I was counting the million transfers in the streets. Oh, yeah, okay. So okay. you're right. It's 18.6. Okay. 
I was wondering how that compares to this year's actual. Obviously, this year's not quite done, but you can probably tell where it's going to uh, go. You know what? I because because of the, all the expenses we get in, well, we uh, we get in a huge amount of expenses after year end. After twelve so, yeah. Yeah. so between. We don't, you know, I, I think I've had this discussion with a couple of people, but we don't close 22 until uh, February, yeah. the end of February, because it just goes on. You have 13 papers for your payables. <laughs> it's, that, you that's know, probably well, the way Well, actually, I think yeah. it's 14, yeah. but yeah. I was coming. <laughs> but the point being is that, so, so I, I hesitate to compare to the current year actuals because you, yeah, it's a it's a big swing. The last, I you know the last two the last month is just a crazy month from expenditure wise. And we do have the department heads beating the bushes trying to get the vendors to get them in, and it's like herding cats. Yeah. Quite <laughs> but <clears throat> could we? I'm just. It's just a question, and we don't. Everybody may want to do this differently. Because the operations, operations expenses, expenses are, are separated out on a separate page, which I appreciate that. Yeah, I think that is an interesting view, right? right? But it's really the payroll expense I'd like to hear a little bit about department by department, you know, because it does vary a little bit. Does it include headcount? Uh, how much did you, did, did you try to increase payroll proportionally across the board per department or were some lagging, some were a little ahead? Because you, 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 payroll is a big deal this year, yes, right? Because is. we're losing people yes. to other cities. So we went person by person okay. through the whole study. Um, so that's why it's so variable, because we didn't use a flat rate. Um, what was the first part of your question again? So there was a 6% cost of living adjustment yes. in general, okay. right? Plus on top of that, there was um, several departments had, you know what, did, uh, did that not print off? What's that? Well, I think I think. Oh what we yes, did if you look at like who yes, like look at page these, twelve. Well, look at page at, twelve. At the right place, they got six percent, but not everybody got the six percent. In general, a little twelve you know, says uh, information yeah. technology. Yes. So <laughs> at the very bottom there, I've given you some. I've given you a piece of information where I say you know headcount head count okay. increase okay. one network administrator. Yeah. And then if you go look at the police. On page 15, mm -hmm. you say uh, headcount increase six. Okay. Three officers, one record clerk, one dispatch, one part-time custodian. And then we have um, two in Mike's operation that are seasonal, and we're moving them from seasonal to full-time. Over at the library, you have one that you're moving to full-time, or two? I'm trying to remember what's on my board. I don't think anyone's moving to full-time. Yeah, no, I, I, she didn't move anybody to full time. Okay, you I, just, have, I have an entry on my board for you. Well, if there's a part time, can I release additional requests? I oh, that's don't right. Think yes. we're I'm sorry, it's not you, it's the court. Right. Yes, court. For court did an increase. And I believe that's on their, that's on their, um, is, that, is that helpful? Yes. Doug, is that what you were looking for? Is well, okay, yeah, I see or some. Did you I, want more I can than see that? the larger uh, uh, increases, you know, where headcount's been added, right? Right. Right. So where there not, where there were, where there was not headcount added, it looks like it's in the range of, I don't know, I'm just throwing a number out there, except for one department. What, thirteen? Anyway, double digit mm -hmm. percent increase mm -hmm. in most departments. But you felt we needed to play some catch up. Yes, we did. So that's kind of where we are is somewhere a little bit of a double digit increase department by, by department. Right. If you would take the head count out of those other departments, then it would probably be about the same increase. Does that make True. sense? Yes, that makes sense. Okay. Except for Hester's Where are you fine. seeing the head count increase? There, it's at the bottom, bottom of the line. Right down there. If, if it has one. If it has one. If it has one. So there's like there's look, a, if, look at page 14. So That's the one that uh, he was just talking about, the court having a new one. It's below the line. No one does it. That one does. Okay. When does the budget assume that the uh, payroll increases would be in effect? Well, some of them are January 1st. Uh, IT is March 31st, I believe. Oh, that's that's for the new heads. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, no, 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 not headcount, but uh, when would city staff right. uh, the recognize their the payroll, payroll increase? So that's payroll January, increase. January 1st, or January 1 1. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Question for you under streets. You show um, uh, headcount increase two dash one operator one. So that means there's three there. Two no, it's no, no, no. Two people. There are two, two people. people operator operator one. Okay. Yes, that's what their okay. title is. Yeah. yeah, the class is operator one. I should have put O N E. Oh, <laughs> yeah. the class is operator one. Yeah. yeah. It's not just one operator. No. <laughs> so, and I was going to ask about streets. I know we lost some drivers because they got their certification right, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. As soon as they CDL. got it, they yeah. moved. Did, did we, address, I guess, address that and improve our situation there? If you approve this budget, we are. Okay. Yeah, that, and you're right. That has been a common affliction for us. You know, so they come here and, and we spend all the money and they get their CDL and then they move on. Okay. But yes, this budget corrects that wage. Okay, great. So we need to indenture them for two years? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, we laugh, but we did bounce that around a bit. You're right. Well, you know, in some some companies say if you if you leave within two years, you got to pay back. You know, yeah. so. Okay. We decided not to go that route. Anybody have any additional questions about what you're looking at? Those were good questions. Okay, let's go to capital then, Kim. Oh, I know. You guys are really excited well, about this. This is a, um, is this a new one. A new one. It's not the one that was in the packet. Not the one in the packet. Yeah, this is, the ink is dry yet on this one. Yeah. The ink is just barely dry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jerry. Question here on the, uh, did we, we didn't talk, we didn't say anything about debt service on the fire truck, did we? That's a to be determined. To be determined. Right. Does anybody want any others? Because I have extra copies. I have. Uh, here, you want me to that? I believe you. That's four hundred We had to decrease the police department. Okay, this is um, the only thing I'm going to uh, point out here, uh, just to make sure you guys, we talked about in the last meeting, we talked about this assigned funds donations, so you can see where I've decreased our capital available by the amount of the assigned funds. It's line, it says uh, 2022 assigned donation, and that's the 144. Is that on the first page? Yes, here page one. Halfway Do you see that? Oh, here we go. Assigned. Oh, okay. Assigned funds donation. 22, yeah. 20, 2022 assigned all. Yes, There's all departments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. We, you guys approved that. You know, that's based on uh, the 21 audit. We went and said uh, this is the amount of that that was donations, and so I've reserved, I've reserved that amount of money out of the. That's donation with the stutter. Yeah, <laughs> two, two ends. Yeah, two ends. Did I spell it wrong? That's yes. All right. <laughs> Oops. We're gonna let you slide. Thank you. You know what? I guarantee you, nobody hires me for my spelling. <laughs> Your, your addition is better. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> um, all right, so I think these are straightforward. You can see that we, we have some items that are carrying over uh, that did not get done. Uh, so the reason they're included on here is because you guys approved them last year and they're not going to be completed uh, 
and 22. Okay? That's what those are. Those are the dollars we carried over? Yes, it says carry over. Yeah, but these are the dollars that we're carrying forward. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Otherwise, I think this is, uh, you know, this is pretty straightforward. You, you have the different pages here. If you guys want to take a minute and, and look through... Um, Look through any of these pages, or what, what were the key changes in this last-minute document? Oh, in the last-minute document, were they minor uh, adjustments or? Material? Well, I I updated the word, the date. I forgot to update the date up there at the left. Okay. <laughs> That's one. All right. Uh, two was um, I tied the current year revenue estimate to our budget. Mm -hmm. I had it slightly higher because we thought we were going to have more revenue which basically meant that the amount available would be reduced. But, you know, so I, I tied it to our final budget. You know, Hopefully this will be our final Well, budget. you were just sitting down kind of peruse and look at it. I, just curious, because, you know, we, we replace cars like every year, right? How many total police cars do we have? A lot. Yeah, I know, it's got to be. <laughs> Take off your shoes. like we replace four or five every year, so I was just curious. You must so. have about 50. You know, I mean, you're going to replace you know, we carry some extra spare year. cars to the right. city, like when folks, sometimes you folks will borrow them to go to Little Rock and stuff, and we provide um, some additional cars. But we, we, we run them now at about 110,000 miles is our key. It used to be 100,000. The mayor and I talked about it a few years back to try to get a little more life out of them. We can do them about 110,000 if we can. Uh, and it routinely replaces. We replace about five or six cars a year. Yeah, it's okay. I was just curious how many we had. I didn't. I don't know. I was. You know what? I, I don't know off the top of my head. We probably have close to 40, 45. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how many, how many vehicles? Many vehicles? A thousand bucks a year. How many vehicles do we have? City wide. Cost a thousand bucks a piece to insure them. It's more it's that probably. Well, yeah. well, I counted vehicles and equipment on our list. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's well over two hundred. Okay. Um, when I say equipment, equipment right. like the street department's got, bulldozers, graders, you know, that type of thing. you got thing. mowers and things like that? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. So, so all together, it's about 200. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have already talked about this uh, a little bit um, previously, but what, what we've done with this presentation is we've, we've said basically we're gonna pay cash for everything, okay? And so this would, the, the idea being that this is our, our exposure if we pay cash for everything. But, you know, as we discussed earlier, depending on how sales revenue comes in and, and we have our impact fees, so depending on those two things, we can make determinations about how we actually wanna finance these. Okay, the, uh, there's been some talk about financing the fire truck that's coming in uh, in March or April. So that's the 1.53 that you see here. Yes. I'm oh, sorry, 1.513. So if you look that's at... That's all of it, though. That's all of it. <clears throat> the fire truck is 1.3 if you look at the schedule. Yeah, I am. Yeah, so if you look at page two, that's mm. the fire department. Yes, yeah, And the new truck is 1.3. Right. Yes. So and we could do... Half and fund the other half. We could yeah. fund the whole thing because yeah. in the past, you remember, we purchased pumpers, mm -hmm. which are are less expensive. This is um, a lot of truck. But there's nothing stopping us from using an Amendment 78 loan, which is a five-year loan at a lower interest because the banks don't have to pay tax on the interest, so it's an incentive for them. During these past years, where the interest rates have been super low. The banks weren't really keen on doing Amendment 78, and we didn't have any new ones anyway. We paid them all off. Uh, but now with rates coming back up again, it might be attractive to do that. So that's an alternative. Um, another alternative is, um, for example, Fire Department Capital Other on the main sheet for three, uh, three million. That's the first phase of Fire Station one. number one. So if you remember, once the police leave, then the plan is to gut that building and put it back together again so that it's the living quarters on the, on the lower floor and the administration on the second. Well, it's still the, a plan. Uh, the like day use area, things right. like that, on the second floor. Yeah. Kitchen. 
So again, we don't have to pay cash for that. And we can fund that too. Or uh, in the case of some of the others, we can defer. You're saying fund that to remodel? That's the remodel. You're saying fund it, I mean re, uh, refinance or finance it rather than... We could. Like, with a five we could, note, yeah. With a five so if we have a recession and we determine, okay, here's the payroll, because we already know what the payroll is going to be for next year. Yeah. And we don't have any, and we don't want to have any layoffs or, or furloughs. We will still get some tax dollars coming in, but there may be a decrease in those tax dollars. If we need to make them up, then we can make them up through the capital side of the house by changing and not paying cash for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Adjusting how we how we pay for it. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what the interest rates would be. Not I, I checked it about two months ago and it was about three and a half percent. You know, so I would imagine since the changes the changes in rates I would imagine it'd be somewhere around four. Yeah. You know, um, and depending on, uh, do we have one more, one more Fed meeting this year? Yes, on the 13th. So depending on what they do there, you know, it might be four and a half. So you know, uh, we'll just we'll have to look at that, and we'll know more as our tax revenue starts coming in, right? And and for instance, if you look at we have uh, new land, we have land here. Um, for fire station five and fire station six we can use impact fees for that right we could uh do <coughs> amendment 78 loans is that right amendment 78 mm -hmm. okay uh loans for those i mean there there are a number of things that we could we could do here uh to give us some flexibility to uh if we're if we do experience a worse a worst case scenario But on the other hand, right now, it looks like if everything goes according to plan, we would have cash to do it, to do all these things. I apologize. So I'm looking at this first page again, right? So if we, if we pay cash, you have to direct me to this, the unassigned funds available after capital request would be $1.095 million yes. is what we would have left. That's right. In the bank. After our 25% that we have to hold. Correct. Correct. Okay. So we're, we're in a good place. You know, the other thing yeah. you can do, too, is because we've never really said what drives us to go into that 25%. It could be a recession. Mm -hmm. And we go in there to help with the wages and, and continue to pay as much cash as we can to get things done and also perhaps conserve some more so that we're not paying the higher interest rates and we keep the short-term debt down. Right. The good news is, while I'm talking about this, is Raymond James came in and saw Kim and myself two days ago? Two days ago. And they brought in a new financing structure on the bond. And if the tax income stays flat, we'll have it paid out by 28. I believe it's 28. And if we get a modest increase, I can't remember what she said it was going to be. No, if it continued at the current rate of 15%, uh, yes. uh, then we would we would 26. see it about two years earlier. Earlier. Wow. So yeah, that is really. So when we first took the bond out, it was out to 2045. Yeah. And about a year ago, it dropped to 2031 because I knew going in that we were two times ahead of, yeah. of the payments. Yeah, right. And that's why Standard & Poor gave us such a, a good rating, and we got such a very good interest rate of 1.1%. And it does tie back to where we began the conversation, too. Our revenues are increasing. That serves the bond very well as well. Yep. Uh, we're, we're sitting, uh, you know, I, I feel like we're sitting in, in a strong position. Uh, and there are some, there are some uh, factors that are contributing to that that are, they're going to be there for a while, I think. I think the growth of Benton County, that stuff, property taxes are going to continue to go up without increasing the tax rate. Mm -hmm. uh, but don't forget, the American Rescue Plan factors into this as well. There's another big payment coming that's not recognized yet in this 
unassigned fund balance we begin with. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I, I know you've tried to explain this to me before, and I'm, I'm thick. It takes two or three times sometimes. But you started with an unassigned fund balance at 1231.21. That's right. That's right. And that balance has grown over well, the course we'll, of this we'll year too. Well, we'll drop about $5 million over budget total. It's my in, expectation for for uh, 22. Say it again. You, we will drop? What I mean is that our bottom line drop into fund balance yes. will be about five, is my expectation. You know, based on a, a, a review, I, uh, I did it fast, right. just uh, you know, like three weeks ago, and it looked like we'll be around $5 million. Well, thank you for doing it, because I think it does inform this process. We're working with a really old number here at the end of 2021, and there's good news that goes along with it. Right. That. When you say $5 million, is that just from our, uh, that's not factoring American Rescue? No, it includes the American oh, it Rescue. Does. Okay, all right. So yeah. we're going to get three from that, yes. and maybe a couple from That's our, what. It, that's my minimum budget. number. I, I, nice. I like to be right, as conservative about that. But there's $5 million dollars available for future capital pro projects. That yes, not now, to keep it, to, 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 however, let's just take a moment and let me just comment on that a little further. We do have a lot of capital requests coming in in the next four years after this one. Mm, correct. Yeah. Okay, More so, than I understand. so yes. let's, you know, uh, out of this 2023 budget, we're not going to draw up much money into our... Maybe not. It depends yeah. what actuals are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's true. But based on the budget, we won't be dropping a lot of money into our unreserved fund balance. But based on last year's budget, we wouldn't have dropped much into it this year. But here we are. Yes. As long as we're still your, conservative, your, your that's why it's, all, it's always good to be conservative yep. because there's always good news on the back end. Right. But right. again, to your point, it's American rescue money. You know, five million yeah, of the money in our unreserved money. fund balance, five, approximately five million dollars of that is American rescue money. Mm -hmm. So, so the, the point I'm making here is, is we have money available to do a lot of these projects, but we have to be we, we have to be thoughtful Absolutely. because we cannot expect that windfall to continue. Absolutely. So and, and if you're asking me, I would tell you that I would seriously consider financing that fire truck. I would seriously consider financing the um, remodel city hall because we're not going to continue to uh, drive our fund balance forward. See the growth. I'm just. This is just me, right? Because our revenues. So, so one of the things that we're going to struggle with is operating budgets. Okay, because we don't have a big commercial tax base here. We don't have, as you pointed out earlier, the amount of property tax is not growing the way we would like to see it grow, right? So going forward. There is going to be a concern of can we meet our operating budget out of current revenue? Wow. Okay. Do you well, see my point? What? Yeah, but well, don't be all doom and gloom. Uh, yeah, you're you know a what? It's my <laughs> job to be doom and gloom. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. It is. So. <laughs> Let me go back to. Uh, to be cautious. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Understood. Let okay. me go back to that beginning number of 11 million. It's old. Yes but it's done for a purpose because it's a substantiated number out of the audit. That's right. right. Yeah. It's so an it's audited not, number. It's that's not correct. A, it's not a, let's just pull a number out of the air. Yeah. So right. That's that why you have to have it, because you've got to have a stake in the ground and say that's where we started from. Yes. And it's been, it's been audited and proven. Right. And that's a good basis to go from yes. where, where we are. Yeah. So if you borrow the money, right, which that's what I'd be in the camp of doing. I'd, you know, we all know some really smart people, right? And a couple I know are really smart. And they're always like in the camp of use somebody else's money. Yep. And keep yours. Invest it. Now, they may be a little more aggressive, but we can probably return pretty close to the same percentage with using that money and investing it as what we're paying on the interest to use somebody else's <clears> money. <throat> you know, I'm just saying. that That's where I would, that's, that's the camp I would be Well, in. we did just get some good numbers from... Uh, you know, we have an investment committee meeting next week, probably, 
uh, and we did get some really interesting numbers uh, for for returns. Uh, so, so to your point, if we could be within one percent, mm -hmm. I would I would absolutely agree with you. OZK it's, has been offering three percent on a, a six month CD in the short term. Yeah, well. Well, the rates right we one. just got were significantly better than that. I, I, I'm not surprised, yeah. 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 So, uh, you know, I, yes, that's, that's a lovely thing. You know, the five million that we just put in treasury bills in three months tranches of a million apiece, um, I think it came back that next year we'll make 180000 on the interest. Out of five. Out of five million. Versus, versus we've made maybe, maybe $20,000 yeah. in the last three yeah, years yeah, yeah. On, on that $5 million. I apologize. I oh, yes. Mr. Peter sorry, today. Yes, I go. had a previous engagement for like the last five months tonight at 7.30, so I, I hate to bugger out on you, but right. I, I think, think we're, we're pretty close finish. anyway. Is there right, any, thank you very much, Kim. I'm, thank you. Let me know if you have any additional questions. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything, but I think in my first year on the council, I think our total budget was 11 million. Yeah, when I first came on board, it was around 13, 14. So it's grown a lot. Oh. A lot. <laughs> Just a little. Yeah. Any other questions that I can help you guys with? We started out with only a handful of employees, too. Yeah. So. Have a look at it again. If you have any questions, either come in and see Kim or, or just call her or send her an email. And um, she'll be more than happy to give you any breakdowns or anything you want. Ask Steve. You may get right. you may get more. No, no. <laughs> yeah. no, Jerry, you can do okay. yeah. I've got the ones you give us originally. Good. No, no. That's yours to keep. He can get another one, I bet. I can probably do so. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that was the only thing we've got on the agenda. Thank you for coming out this evening. Mm -hmm. and Congratulations, uh, John. Thank you. Yeah. Do you want me to put your sign and frame it and send it back to you, or can I just toss it? <laughs> I know. I, I'd like it back, yeah. So I'll when you're running, you so when you run in four years, you'll have another one? <laughs> thinking of a, another <laughs> run. <laughs> okay, we're well, adjourned. close to the Thank house. You. Just look for it. Yeah. Speaking of that, Department heads, thank you for you too. Uh, being yeah. here this evening. I appreciate it. Doug, you're going to be in tomorrow in the morning? Yes, okay, I'm going to try to settle you down on what I think I want to do. Because while I'm looking at it, I'm pretty much on your side because I know what's going to go and what's not. It's just a matter of throwing a carrot and a stick off there kind of thing to give them something.